Today we're going to take a look at standard 79C, which says the student is expected to determine the area of composite figures containing combinations of rectangles, squares, parallelograms, trapezoids, triangles, semicircles, and quarter circles. For this standard, it is particularly important that the students are comfortable and familiar with using the STAR Grade 7 mathematics reference materials. First of all, because there are several formulas that are provided. Um, on that reference materials, there are formulas provided for the area of rectangles, parallelograms, trapezoids, and triangles. There is also a couple of approximations for pi provided, as well as a ruler. There's a, actually two rulers, one in inches and one in centimeters. And in some cases, students may be asked to measure dimensions before finding area. There are some formulas that are not provided on the reference materials that are mentioned in this standard. First of all, the area of a square is not on the reference materials. The students must know that, this, that a square is a special rectangle or a special parallelogram. The formula for a semicircle is not provided, nor the formula for a quarter circle. So the students must know that for a semicircle, you take the area of a circle and multiply times a half. For a quarter circle, you take the area of a circle and multiply times one fourth. I do want to take a moment and caution you about printing the reference materials. The reference materials are provided on the TEA website and you can print the PDF document. But when printing, in order to ensure that the rulers are scaled correctly, you need to choose actual size underneath the page sizing and handling area. So if you do that, then the rulers on the reference materials should be scaled correctly. Here is the reference materials, just to show you what the students are provided with on the day of the STAR test. One side of the reference materials has formulas with an inch ruler, and the other side has some conversions with a centimeter ruler. Let's take a look at a problem from the STAR. This is one of the released problems from the 2016 seventh grade STAR test. The problem says, two rectangles were used to form the following figure. Use the ruler provided to measure the dimensions of the figure to the nearest quarter inch, quarter of an inch. What is the area of the shaded region to the nearest square inch? So we're being asked to find the area of the shaded region. As you can see, really this is a composition of a smaller rectangle inside a bigger rectangle. How are we going to find the area of the shaded region? Well, let's take a look at this. So I have this exact same figure here. If we take the smaller rectangle on the inside and remove it or subtract it, from the bigger rectangle, that'll leave us with the area of the shaded. So that's what we're gonna do to solve this problem. So the area of the shaded part is equal to the area of the big rectangle minus the area of the smaller rectangle. So let's go ahead and find the area of the big rectangle and the area of the small rectangle. But before we can do that, we need to measure the dimensions, as it said in the problem. So I'm going to start with the bigger rectangle, and I'm going to measure the base. And we're measuring to the nearest quarter an inch, and it looks like four and three quarters, or 4.75 of an inch. Now I'm going to measure the height of the shaded, or excuse me, of the bigger rectangle. And that looks to be right at 4 inches. Now for the smaller rectangle, I'm going to measure the base. And that looks to be right at about 3 and a quarter, or 3 and 25 hundredths of an inch. And now the height of the smaller rectangle looks to be right at about two and a half inches. 
All right, so now let's find the area of each of these rectangles. So we're gonna start with the area of the big rectangle, which is remember the area for a rectangle is just base times height. We measure the base to be four and 75 hundredths and the height to be four. When we multiply that out, we get 19 square inches or inches squared. The area of the smaller rectangle, again using the formula, area equals base times height for a rectangle, substitute in the base of the smaller rectangle is 3 and 25 hundredths or 3.25. The height is 2 and 5 tenths or 2.5. We multiply that out and we get 8.125. So now we have the area of the big and the small. So we're gonna go back to this original formula here to find the area of the shaded, which is the area of the big, which was 19 inches squared, minus the area of the small, which is 8.125. Now really it's asking for the, to the nearest square inch. So we could actually subtract that and we would get 10.875. So to the nearest square inch would be 11 inches squared. You could also at this point up here have done, since I want to the nearest square inch, we can do 19 minus eight, which will give us 11. Either way, we get 11 inches squared.